Hey, I'm Ken from Lumber Capital Log Yard, and we are going to be talking about gypsy moth and its effect on logging in north central Pennsylvania. We're on a uh, 400 acre property. It's a friend of mine. I've harvested off and on here for the last, I think it's five or six years. It's hard, hard to believe. I've moved in and out several times and I often have equipment uh, sitting here. Several of the last videos that I've been in, we've actually been on this property. We are at the top, the apex uh, of one of the mountain peaks that uh, the owner has and I am working on the I was working down below where it is extremely steep even though the fellow is a friend of mine uh, production gets a little slow when uh, when it's so steep and it's it's really steep so I thought oh I'll come up here and uh, there's a section a very large section probably 40 acres that I didn't cut and I thought I'd just move back through that maybe a couple days a week because it's on the top it's flat uh, might as well be a city park up here and uh, I think it was Tuesday I came up here on the dozer opened the road up and I got out here and I was just absolutely shocked I cut all through here yesterday every tree is dead uh, it just it was so heartbreaking to come up here and look at it um, and and just see the destruction I, I'm gonna assume that that it's been two years of leaf defoliation uh, now because uh, there you know there's just several trees with no leaves on it I, I didn't know the leaves just came out. They they really come out about the second week of May here in north central Pennsylvania. So finally when they came out, I was able to take a look and see if there was some kill. And it it's really substantial. I don't know if M can get a, a, a pan, but you can see all the tops out through here. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, they're just all dead. And this crazy tree here is perfect. Uh, so a lot of the red and, and red, white oak are are not well. Uh, this little tree here is a hickory, and the hickory does well. We have a maple over here that that seemed to survive. Uh, so it is really uh, the the oaks were attacked, um, and as we go back. This would be primarily to the north. So this ridge, there's two ridges. This ridge runs fairly uh, north and south. Uh, as you go back through past a skitter, it's about a half a mile before you start to go down. It takes a half hour to get in here with the skitter. Uh, that's all killed all through there. Um, there are, you know, there's going to be some trees left. Again, we've got another... I think it's a red oak straight ahead. You can see the it's in full leaf. Uh, so I'm hoping that you know that's going to be okay, and we'll be able to you know see some uh, regeneration in here. Now, some of the good news is is that this whole area uh, is filled with little oaks coming up. Uh, as you look out through there, uh, where my saw is out beyond, it's mainly mountain laurel and just little oaks. So I was really encouraged to see that. Uh, the discouraging thing is, is that, you know, the, the trees are gone. There's not going to be anything here in my lifetime or my kid's lifetime to, to harvest uh, so it's very disappointing in that in that regard. I think the landowner will do okay because now trees are going to be cut that I would never cut. 
uh, just because they are too small. So if they're able to yield a log, um, you know, the, the landowner will be paid for them. But again, uh, you know, they'd be trees that would be left behind for uh, a future harvest. And that's actually what this area was. I harvested in here and I, I did cut dead out of here this morning and uh, yesterday. So I took a lot of it out, but you know, I was disappointed to come back up and see trees that I had left five, six years ago now that are, uh, you know, no longer uh, alive. The good news is, is that there is still a fair amount of moisture in the wood. So uh, I'm seeing almost no rot, but I'm gonna speculate that by next summer, the, the whole thing, every tree that isn't, doesn't have a leaf on would be only of firewood value. The other thing I'm looking at, Nem could uh, get the uh, right name. Is it the powder post? Pa powder post beetle. I haven't seen any of that in any of the wood. Um, so uh, hopefully again, as far as like log value goes, uh, we're going to be okay on value. It's just, you know, it's just the death of a, a younger tree that uh, makes our Pennsylvania forest. I don't know where this bug came from. I've always called it a gypsy moth. I guess somebody came along a year ago and, and didn't like that name and changed it. Um, I don't know if it, if it was a, a native bug to us or if it was uh, an invasive bug but it sure does do a lot of damage here in central Pennsylvania and you know it it really hurts the value of uh our you know of landowners timber and there's not much you can do about it i know the state sprays i think that some of the southern end of this property was sprayed and there's still a lot of tree kill um at that end as well so the spray didn't work uh, at least on 40 or 50 acres here and I haven't even gone uh, over to look at that 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 would be down that way and for what it matters the lumber yard is about five miles um, that way more to the more to the east from here so uh, what do you do well you, you come in with your chainsaw and you cut it all, um, you know, and get as much value out of it as you can. That's just a, a pretty rock oak there. It would have been a nice tree. Um, and it's just going to be firewood now. Same with this one, you know, in another 12 years that might have been ready to go as a tree. Maybe not, but... Uh, I'm going to cut it here. That will go with me on this skid. And uh, we're, we're just going to take that as firewood. Um, unfortunately, as we get back a little more to the north, uh, the trees get a lot larger. They're not just, you know, uh, firewood pole wood. So we'll be able to get uh, some logs out of those. Um, I am a little concerned about the red oak. It, it, doesn't look like it fared quite as well as the white oak and the rock oak in here. Uh, so we'll have to see when we get get to it. Again, this area I harvested, so uh, a lot of the better value came out five, six years ago. And I thought I had left a really nice stand behind. Uh, so I had to be able to harvest again and say, you know, another five, six years from now. But... Um, well, I guess we're gonna get to it. Uh, I brought Emerald up from the log yard today so she could do this video. I'm gonna see if she can get some uh, views of some of the kill. Um, it's gonna take me some time to cut a skid before we head back down. Like I said, it's about a half hour on the skidder. I was able to do four skids yesterday in eight hours. Uh, so that would be my cut time, skid time. I don't buck on the landing. I'll show you, I have a whole new system. Um, 
so I do all of that now at the end of the day. Uh, so about 4.30, 5 o'clock, I started all my cleanup and I had quite a bit there after uh, cutting all day. So thank you and uh, you know, this is, this is what happens, uh, you know, and uh, hopefully the other places in Pennsylvania that have been hit hard, they can get loggers in there and, and get the value out while the trees are still um, somewhat valuable and uh, you know I know the logging community is very busy in our area because of it uh, some of the landowners are panicked and you know the good news is I, I suppose is that the two large sites where I'm working I've only seen damage on the summits I guess the the gypsy moth moves a lot on the wind and they, uh, you know, they sort of land on the summit as the wind blows them. So as you go down, uh, I'm not saying that I haven't seen some dead trees. Uh, there's some here and there. They're not even really in pockets. It's just a dead tree uh, every so often. And, uh, you know, so the, the side where it's steep, where it's hard to harvest, of course, the trees look pretty good. So. Thank you for your time, and uh, I appreciate everybody tuning in and taking an interest in all things logging and lumber uh, that Lumber Capital Log Yard is to provide to our viewers. Uh, your, your time and energy, uh, you know, participating with us in our daily activities uh, is always encouraging to me. So thank you very much, and uh, see you next time. Thank you.